Okay, so next to the hiding, isolate and freeze options, I also wanted to show you the object properties, which is also a very handy menu. Um, and it's because they tie into freezing often. If you right click and you go to object properties, you get this menu. Now this menu is very handy. In here what you can do is you can do stuff like uh, turning on hiding or turning on freezing. So if I would go for freeze and press OK, it is now frozen. The nice thing also is that if you see here, if I press freeze, you can see that this frozen always shows in this gray color. If you do not want that, for example you have an image or you have a texture on here and you still want to freeze it, you can simply turn off show frozen in gray. And then freeze it and that will basically keep the same color or texture if you for example have a texture on here. And it will just keep it on here. So let me just unfreeze all. Now, um, next is something, another thing that I use is the see-through. See-through is basically x-ray, but uh, we will go over this later on. This will make sure that you can see through it or you can use your shortcut Alt-X for this. But don't worry, I will go over this later on. So um, that's one I will not cover right now. Backface culling. Um, is another important one that I often use. You, ha you also have the displays box. But basically backface culling means that right now if I would for example go in here and I would delete one of these faces so that you can look inside, the, it will be able to show you the inside faces. It will make them black to make sure that you know that they are um, flipped faces. Because remember a plane can only have one angle that it is looking at. Else you would need to turn this into a uh, box for example. But um, for this case, what we can do with the backface culling, if I turn this on and I delete the face, it will show it uh, almost as if in a game engine. In a game engine you often see this, where it will simply not show that face to indicate to you that there is no faces there. So that's a very handy one that I often use. Um, if you want, if you ever have an object that you do not want to render, like you're making renders inside of 3ds Max, which I pretty much never do, but um, if you are rendering in 3ds Max, you can turn objects off using the render controls over here. And for the rest, um, yeah, you can display like the vertex color um, if you want, I believe, yes, and it will, if you have vertex coloring on here, it will display it. However, once again, vertex colors is something that we will cover in a later chapter. Everything is kind of like overlapping always, so I kind of like need to uh, go back and forth. Uh, these other things I never use, so I'm not going to try and explain to you what they are, because I've never in my life used them, um, which means that probably for my job they're also not really needed. So, that is about it for the object properties.